What's going on guys, Etika from the Etika World Network here and what is up to the new niggas that are joining on board as well too. Shit has been kind of crazy within the last few days. I mean in, in just today we got like fucking over 1,300 subscribers in one fucking day. Like I said, that's fucking insane man. But I gotta be say I'm really thankful so uh, thank you guys. Anyways, today we need to talk about Sun and Moon. That's the last time I think I'll mention that for a little while because you know, I don't want to like be bag bragging and shit but I'm very thankful that the new niggas are on board. But Sun and Moon information has come out today and there are two topics that we need to discuss on it. The first one being a really funny one, a hilarious one. If you didn't see the, if you couldn't tell by the thumbnail or the title, this regards the 3D functionality of Pokemon Sun and Moon, and this is a fucking hilarious topic right here. I want to give a big shout out to my man Eduardo for linking me to this article on Twitter. Of course, I'll have it in the description so you can check it out for yourself, but this is a topic that I needed to talk with you guys about. I only saw the title, I did not read this ahead of time, so this is going to be a first time reaction thing, but apparently, judging from this, it says there's no stereoscopic 3D in Pokemon Sun and Moon. I don't know about you niggas, but I can think of a couple of reasons as to why this is the case. But anyways, going back to the article itself, let's take a look at this, man. So, one of the Nintendo 3DS's major selling points won't be a part of Pokemon Sun and Moon. This is just fucking hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you want to know why I think this is so funny? You want to know why I can't stop laughing at this bullshit? Because Pokemon games on the 3DS are hilariously bad at managing frame rate whenever you're inside of a Pokemon battle. And that's with 3D off, nigga. When the 3D's on, you'll get hilarious bullshit like this. It's gonna be interesting. <laughs> I don't know how this is gonna go at all. And there's also something else I want to try too. Um, I still kind of want to try a full battle of Moltres, um, and I also want to try uh, a single battle, but that way you can enable 3D. <laughs> Alright, so right off the bat, this is pretty bad, as you can see. Um, good lord, this is awful. <laughs> the frame rate dropped to a nice 10 right now. Oh my goodness, this is bad. Uh, yeah, that, that's the problem. I gotta wait for all these guys. All of these guys to Primal Evolve. Oh man. Um, because I mean, even right now, this is pretty bad. I I don't have a I don't really have a tester or a way to tell what the exact frame rate is right now, but it, it's pretty bad. Gee whiz, you guys see how slow that was? Oh my goodness! All right, Hyper Beam. Ah, oh, it's so brutally bad. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I don't even know if the 3D was on in that video. But you get my point, right? The 3D functionality is definitely not a fucking help for Nintendo games <laughs> whenever they're running on that thing. The 3DS isn't really all that super powerful to begin with, and then when you turn that shit on, and then when you have a bunch of Pokemon on the screen at the same time, it fucking explodes, man. But let's continue reading this article. So... <laughs> While many people now play 3DS games in 2D anyways, I'm sure some fans will be disappointed to know that stereoscopic 3D will only work in one of Sun and Moon's minigames. So, only one minigame? That's crazy! Isn't this hilarious? The 3DS, the principle that the console was built upon, something that Nintendo promoted and pushed from the fucking conception of this thing, is not going to be included as a feature in one of their most major flagship releases. Possibly the most important, the most important release for Nintendo this year on the 3DS, and it's not going to include 3D. How ironically hilarious is that? Let's continue reading this, man. Pokemon X and Y only really use 3D during its battles, but according to both Game Explain and IGN, this is no longer an option in the upcoming games. So Game Explain, I really want to give a shout out to them and IGN for getting on top of this and getting to the to the details to let us find out this interesting tidbit of information here. Oddly, 3D gameplay will only be available in a photography side quest. What the fuck, nigga? Oh, yo, you know what? I think it's the one where you have to like take pictures of the Pokemon. Kind of like that Pokemon Snap looking thing that we saw. One of those things. Sun and Moon has a bunch of stuff going on for it, man. But this is so insane, guys. You know, but I understand. Even with the new 3DS's hardware, Pokemon Sun and Moon probably will use up a lot of resources. So... They have to make compromises at some point or another. This is just a hilarious one. I'm sorry I'm making fun of them so much. But the 3D, which no one ever used, is now being taken out. So that defeats the purpose of the 3DS. <laughs> 
imagine if Nintendo actually used the funding for the 3D stereoscopic 3D of the 3DS to actually program something else for it instead of that, which is a feature that's not been used by people and now is completely being taken out of the game by a major AAA developer for Nintendo consoles. The irony, oh my god, the irony, nigga. Will you miss seeing battles in 3D? Will you miss seeing battles in 3D, nigga? <laughs> Yeah, no, nigga. <laughs> Anyways, uh, Game Explain says, since I've seen a couple of people ask, let's zoom in on this so we can all get a better view of this shit. Game Explain says, since I've seen a couple of people ask, stereoscopic 3D did not appear to be an option in battles during our hands on with Sun and Moon. And hey, we were told 3D only works with the Pokemon Snap like mode, not in battles. So there it is, man. You guys heard it from people who have early access to the game itself. And not only was it deduced from someone who played a demo or early or early version of the game, but they're saying that they were told specifically by a representative of these companies, um, Pokemon Company or Nintendo, that it is not going to be available the way it was beforehand, only in the Pokemon Snap-like mode and not in battles. That's crazy! Look at that, man. Had anyone Could anyone foresee that? Could anyone know ahead of time that that was going to be something which happened with Pokemon Sun and Moon? The game is so massive in comparison to the previous titles, and it will probably have a lot of stuff going on. Improved animations, improved, um, impro improved attack animations as well, too. Pokemon animations and attack animations. So, you know damn well that thing would probably overheat and explode. The last thing that Nintendo needs is a Galaxy Note 7 type scenario with the fucking 3DS. Anyways, we have something else that I want to talk about as well, and it's in regards to new Pokemon that were revealed earlier today. And this one is somewhat interesting, but we did not get any follow-up like we were expecting. Apparently, on Serebii, there is a new Pokemon, a Alolan form revealed, which is Grimer, who's going to be a Poison and Dark type. As well as other information, like Type Null apparently evolving into a new form. That's kind of interesting, because Type Null is really, like, I, I, the concept behind him is so crazy. And we know he evolves into something? Just what the fuck must that form look like? I, I don't know, man, but Type Null, super interesting Pokemon. And now to know that it gets another form, big plus there. And then we also have um, some other stuff too. Do you remember that uh, that dragon Pokemon with like the, the yellow stuff on its head? It looked kind of cool. Its name was Jiang Mo O. Jiang Mo O? Jiang Mo O also has an evolution, which is apparently dragon fighting type. We haven't seen the pictures yet, but um, Sarabi did say Core Coral leaked, so this is all apparently gonna be coming up soon. We just haven't seen the pictures. So, I mean, guys, what do you think of this Sun and Moon information? What do you think of the 3DS thing, man? What do you guys, what do you, I, I would love to talk to you dudes in the comments about this. To me, it's classic. It's golden, man. It's the irony, insurmountable. But I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Take care of yourselves. And of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one. Peace.